Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So for this one, I thought it would be fun to do this cute little red cardinal. And I want this to be sort of a, a wintry kind of background, um, but I want the background to be very soft and loose. So first thing I'm gonna do is mix up some color for the background. And because I want this to be more of a wintry scene, I'm thinking I'm gonna use um, some indigo, maybe a little bit of Payne's Gray. I'll see if I need to darken anything up or neutral tint would work. So this is just a really nice um, deep blue color. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of neutral tint in here just to kind of tone it down and darken it up a little bit. Um, so you guys can see the difference there. So I kind of like this color that I'm going for. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the entire background. Now I've gone ahead and used some masking fluid here just to mask out our bird and this branch that I want to pop out into the foreground. But you can just um, be careful and kind of paint around that. But that's just gonna protect him a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and just grab our background color and I'm just gonna start getting this in. Pretty much covering the whole area. I might grab some Payne's Gray and just kind of darken up some of these areas here, maybe a little bit towards some of the edges. I'm gonna grab, um, probably gonna start with my number eight silver black velvet. I'm gonna grab some of that sepia color and get it right in here. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of my neutral tint. I want this to be a very dark color. And now we're gonna start putting in some of our branches. Now I am gonna dab off just a little bit of paint here. I'm just gonna take my brush and just kind of run it against the paper there. And I might even get a little bit more concentrated. So I'm using the sepia and the neutral tint. And so for some of these larger branches here, step here that I want to do for the background is create um, a little bit of snow fading into the background. So I'm going to grab my PH uh, Martin's Bleed Proof White here and I'm just going to get a little bit onto my palette. I'm still using my size 4 brush but you can use whatever size that you have. I'm going to get this pretty watered down. I'm going to use my um, clean water for this and I think I like that. And I'm just going to gently tap in a few little splatters here. So we're going to go ahead and let this dry. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab my burnt sienna here. And it's a little bit dirty, um, but that's going to work because I'm gonna mix it with uh, my sepia here or sepia and kind of get almost like a chocolatey brown. I might throw in a little bit of neutral tint um, just to darken it. So I like that and I'm using my size four brush here because it is a little bit um, smaller of a branch and I wanna be a little bit more precise but I'm pretty much just gonna fill in the branch completely here.
So I might just grab a little bit darker sepia over here, maybe a little bit of neutral tint, just a hint of water, and I might just run along the bottom of the branch here, just in a couple little places. Okay, so now that our branch is completely dry, we're going to start working on our little bird. And I just zoomed in a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to start mixing up my paint first. So I think for him, we want a very nice bright red color. So I'm going to take my Windsor Red, and this will be our base color. So I'm going to go ahead and just start filling in this little guy with water. Now I want to be careful around the dark areas and so I'm just going to work on his body and his head right now. Okay, so I'm going to grab my cadmium red here, which is just a, a nice warm red. And I'm just going to start dropping this in. And before this starts drying too much, I am going to grab a little bit of that neutral tint and just start working in. And I can see a little bit of this color kind of over here. So I'm just looking at the reference photo, looking where those shadows are at, because that's what's going to help him look realistic or semi-realistic, because I'm going for more of a, a painterly feel here. Okay, so we're going to start working on the rest of him now, and I'm going to start with his little beak. And uh, it's a little red, but it's got a, a hint of orange into it, so I'm going to take the... Um, Windsor Red that I have here and just add a little bit of my transparent orange to that just to make it the hint of like orangey red that I want and I'm just going to put this all over. And the top of his beak has a slight tip that kind of comes out over the bottom part. Okay, so then we got to start working on his wings and it's a bit of a, a muted red kind of like in this area. So I'm going to use what we have mixed up here. It's sort of like a mauve -y color and there's a little bit of an area here where there is um, some black. So if you miss that area, that's fine because we can just come back in afterwards and uh, put that back in. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll jump down to his little toes here. And I'm going to grab this paint that we had mixed up for the branch. Um, so this is just the sepia and the neutral tint. And I'm just going to start painting in his little toes. This layer is dry now, so we're going to get um, sort of between this and the red. I want a watered down 
version, but a little bit more red in it than that like grayish red color that we had. And we'll just paint the side feathers here with that. Now again, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, just coming up to the branch. Then I'm going to go back in up here with the black and start putting that in. So I'm going to grab just some more neutral tint up here and it's got to be quite concentrated. And I'm just going to mix that in with the, the reddish brown color that we already had going on. And we're just going to start getting this in. And if it's too watery, you can just dab it off a little bit so it's easier to control. And I'm going to try to do these little lines just very slight around the, the red area where it comes together. Okay, and once that's pretty dry, I'm just gonna grab like a light gray that we mixed up. So from this like reddish um, black area and I'm gonna dab that off and I'm just gonna get this in that little circle that we left not touched. Okay, and I think I like that. I might just darken up this little middle part here a little bit. So I'm just coming over that, grabbing a little bit more dark. Just gonna let that blend in there. Okay, so our bird is very dry right now and I'm just gonna grab my Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White and I'm gonna grab my number four silver black velvet brush. Use whatever brush you have and I'm just gonna get a little bit here onto my palette just so it's a little easier to control. And I'm just gonna look for any little highlights that I need. So I'm gonna get this dot in his eye here. And then I want to start creating some snow on our branch here. So I'm going to kind of try to create that. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more concentrated of this. And I'm just going to come along the branch and in some areas I'm going to push a little bit harder, make it a little bit thicker, and then it's going to be a little bit thinner. Um, I might even push on top of the branch so it looks like a little spot is kind of catching a little bit more of that snow. So I'm going to add a little bit more splatter in the background now. So again, I want this to be a little more watered down, but I also want it to be a little bit more pigmented. So you got to have a good mix of the two and grab a little bit more water here. And I'm just going into my clean water because we're pretty much done with this painting. And I like that because that's going to give me a little bit of bigger splatters, but not too big. And we're just going to have fun and just start splattering this all over. This is one of my favorite parts of the painting process. It's just having 
fun and splattering paint. But I kind of like that. And then I'm just going to do a couple over top of our little bird there. And if you get a spot that you don't like, you can just pick it right up. There, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.